What's up guys, Andrew Raff here, and today I have something super duper exciting to show you, and it's right here. And we're currently filming on it right now. It is the newly announced Canon 90D, and Camera Electronic has kindly given it to me to test out. So uh, let's not waste any time, let's get straight into it. Let's go through some photo specs of the new Canon 90D. So the Canon 90D boasts a 32 and a half megapixel sensor and it can shoot up to 11 frames a second, which is just insane for this kind of camera. Compared to the 80D, that is a massive increase. Always a 10 megapixel upgrade from the 24.2 megapixel sensor that is in the 80D itself. Um, and you step that from a seven frames per second to 11 frames per second in the 90D, which is super impressive. Also has the same 45 cross up autofocus system as the 80D as well as 100% viewfinder coverage. But it now has a native ISO range from 100 to 25,600 and you can also expand it to 51,200 if you really game to go up there but probably not something you want to do. And it has a 220,000 pixel RGB and infrared metering sensor which means I mean a whole bunch of jargon, basically what I got from it was that you're going to get way more accurate exposure to when you're using the auto sensing capabilities of the camera. Plus the 90D now supports Wi-Fi and Bluetooth which means that it's even easier to transfer your raw files to your phone and edit them on the fly. So I've honestly started using this way more, especially when I'm travelling or I'm on the road because it means that you don't have to carry around a big bulky laptop and you can just transfer the photos straight to your phone, edit them in an app like Lightroom Mobile and you can seriously get pretty much the same results as using a full suite like Lightroom on your laptop. Alright, so now I've kitted it out for video use, let's go through some of the video features and this is where things start to get interesting. So the 90D can record 4K now in up to 30 frames a second and wait for it, it can shoot 1080p at up to 120 frames a second which is absolutely insane for a camera of this price point and combine that with the dual pixel autofocus, this camera is an absolute beast. However, when you're shooting at your high frame rate, the dual pixel auto doesn't actually work, you have to go back to manual. thing is the clean HDMI out so it means you can get something like an Atomos Ninja V, chuck it on top and get a clean feed out and record to something like ProRes whereas on the 80D you could not do this before so this is a massive upgrade for something of this price point as well. And the most exciting upgrade for this which is going to be amazing for all you vloggers out there is the eye autofocus. So what this means is that instead of focusing on your face it will actually detect your eye and it will shift the focus slightly to focus on your eyes rather than just your face which means you're going to have tack sharp focus on the area that you're trying to draw the attention to. So this is an absolute game changer especially when you're shooting at low apertures like say 1.8 and you get lots of blurry background. Alright guys so that wraps it up for the Canon 9D review. All in all this is an absolute beast of a camera. I'm even considering jumping ship to this from my 16 Mark II. Um, that dual pixel autofocus with the eye detection is honestly an absolute game changer for when you're vlogging and you need it to kind of grab your face and grab your eye as quickly as possible. Massive thanks to Camera Electronic for allowing me to test this out and give my thoughts on it. If you are looking at getting an ID, I'll leave some links below so you can go check it out. As always guys, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you are going to get the 9D or not. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit the subscribe button down here and turn on the bell to be notified every single time I release a new video. And as always, stay creative and I'll see you on the next one. This is possibly the worst lighting I've ever had in one of my videos.